All right, so we're going to be talking about set notation here. Now, notation, I just mean the mathematical symbols that we use. A set, a set is just really a group of things, although we call those things elements. So let me introduce you to our first set. We'll say that set A has the following elements. I use curly brackets to put our elements in. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9. Curly brackets. These are all elements in the set A. We use this semicolon here to say this is the set of... So as I go through this, I'll write the notation here and then what it means underneath it. So, new piece of notation. 2 is an element of A. It's this symbol here we're interested in. This sort of backwards 3 looking kind of thing. 2 is an element of A. Now while I'm at it, I've also got this other bit of notation. It's one of those backwards threes with a line through it, and it means not an element. Not an element. So 6 is not an element of A. Now for my next little bits of notation, I'm going to need a second set. So this is set B with elements 0, 1, and 2. We're going to look at the interplay between these two sets. So this little bit of notation here, it looks like a C, but it's longer than a C. It's a nice long one with a line there. What it says is B is a subset of A. And what that means is that all of the elements of B can be found inside of A. So B is a subset of A. And for my next one, I'm going to add in this third set, C. Uh, let's take a look at two more bits. So we have A, upside down U, C. This upside down thing is the word intersection, A intersection C. Now A intersection C just means the elements that A and C have in common. So what are the elements that A and C have in common? Well, let's look. Zero, no. Two, four. Two and four. All right, so... The way I'm looking at this is the set A intersection C is made up of the elements 2 and 4. Now, it's important to understand here that this is a Venn diagram. It's an application of a Venn diagram. This circle is the set A and this circle is the set C. Now, the things that they have in common are 2 and 4. I'm drawing it really small here because I want to fit it there. Now, the elements that are in A, but not in C, are everything left over. 0, 1, 3, uh, 5, and 9. And the elements that are in C, but not in A, uh, are 6 and 8. Alright, so it's important to understand when we're talking about sets, we're often talking about Venn diagrams. Useful. So, next one is A union C. And if we talk in terms of our Venn diagrams again, we have the set A and the set C, A union C represents all of this, everything that is in A or C. So of course if I was to write this down we say that the set A union C is made up of the elements and we're going to have to write them all, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, uh, there's a 6 in that one, uh, there's no 7s but there is an 8 in that one and there's a 9 in that one. All right, so important to note here, intersection, union, students get them confused. Intersection means and, A and C, and it's this section in here. Whereas, um, when it comes to a union, the union is or, this word here, or, and it's both of those circles done. Now, this little uh, backslash or forward slash or whatever you want to do, that means not. Elements in A, but not in B. Oh, sorry, let's do A, not C. It's a bit easier to talk about here with our circles. So, A, not C. Um, now, that means in A, but not in C. So, A, and not this middle section here. So, which elements does that mean in our thing here? Well, A's in, zero's in A, but not in C. One is as well. Two is in both, so we don't want to include two. 3 is only in that one, we can include that one. 4 is in um, both, so we're not going to include that one. 5 is only in that one, 9 is only in that one. So it's 0, 1, 3, 5, and 9 are in A, but not in B. Now for my next trick, I need to insert a new set, D, 10 and 12, because I want to show you what happens when you try to find the intersection of two sets, but they don't meet. So here I'm looking at A intersection D. But A looks like this, and D looks like this. 
because they don't have any overlap and the intersection is the overlap. So a lot of people think that when you do this, oops, when you do this, the thing inside that set is zero because they don't match up. But wait a minute, zero is an element of A. So we can't use zero to mean this thing here. What we have to use is this symbol right here. That symbol means the empty set. A intersection D is an empty set. It has nothing in it. And we call two sets that look like this, that don't have any elements in common, we call them a disjoint or disjoint sets. Because they're not joined. Disjoint. So that's set notation. There's still plenty more, but that's enough to get us started. It's just a whole new language. Learn these new symbols and you're in business.